welcome back. Right, I've got in four. I rinsed out, which was a really stupid idea. So I've actually just had a bath, so I kind of use the steam from that to help get that mask to penetrate ah! the layers of my head. Head? Hair. Sorry. So it's time doing this, you know. <laughs> In case you haven't figured out that already. Um, right, so I'm just going to put my products kind of around, but they're probably going to fall off the side. This always happens. Right, we'll need that again in a minute. Right, leave that there. Okay, so up comes the thing. Um, Hat, bonnet, shower cap, whatever you guys call it, wherever you're from, or just whatever you call it, really doesn't matter, does it? It's a, it serves a purpose, so. Which for me is my hair masking. Right. That does feel a bit weird. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to rinse this out. Similar sort of principle, really. It's no. I mean, most people wash their hair, I'm assuming. I mean, maybe some people don't. Oh yeah. My hair does feel what? sort of slippy. It's not really a terminology, but whatever, right? So, people probably think I'm a bit nuts, but I do tend to do another brush through. Just sort of with the ends as well. So I'm not going to go too crazy with the brush this time. But just so that I neaten out any ends so that when I'm starting to work through products in my hair, I'm not going to be faced with lots of tangles where it's been masked up. It shouldn't be too bad because I've already done it. But I'm only putting probably a little bit on this time. Because I'm going to put some leave-in conditioner on as well. So it's going to be like extra slippy. <laughs> there. Right, so I put a bit of the cherry one on. And set. I have to kind of look at my hair from this angle because my hair is quite short. Kind of a little bit tough. So I'm going to actually, we don't really need a brush, I can do this with my fingers quite easily. So I'm just going to sort of tease any loose tangles. Loose tangles? Is that a thing? I don't know. Sorry, I've got conditioner all down the sides of the bath. Like, I'm literally like the messiest shower uh, person. I'm messy. And a scrap fit, so, you know, <laughs> it's not going to go well. Never invite me over for dinner. That's, you know, social suicide. If you're trying to look good in front of, like, a queen or something, don't, don't invite me for dinner. I'm really messy. Okay, so that is virtually done. Right. <sighs> right, so as you can tell, my hair is sopping effing wet. But I'm not really going to be doing a lot about it. I am going to squish out some of it though, because otherwise it takes forever to bloody dry. So I just literally. Oh, <laughs> that, that went somewhere, didn't it? <laughs> Gonna kind of squish in. Wicked, right? Ah, that's a rough part, and that'll do. So I've got the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner by Shea Moisture. This has got shea butter, which kind of by the name, if you haven't realised already, it's yeah, they love shea. Uh, peppermint and apple cider vinegar, all sort of really good things to put on your head. Um. 
Yeah, and this was, um, Shea Moisture was actually started by a lady from, sorry, I'm trying to read this with my glasses, Sierra Leone in 1912. So she is the reason that Shea Moisture exists. So thank you. I don't know if she's still alive, but whoever she is, you have made some really damn good products. So what I'm going to be doing, I want to kind of make sure that my ends are super nourished. So what I'm actually doing now is like a squish kind of technique. I've kind of done a lot of this with practice trial and error and, you know, seeing what works best on my hair and going from there because some things haven't worked so great and some things have. My hair needs loads of moisture, loads of hydration, um, just, yeah, it's a, if, if it was its own entity, which sometimes I feel like it is, it is like a proper diva. It will get quite angry with me if I don't look after it. So I'm just going to go over the canopy just to make sure that's nice. So now my hair feels ridiculously slippy. If you can't hear that, it's very squelchy. So what I'm going to start doing, this bit's a little bit weird, so I'm going to start gathering some of my curls together so that they clump better. Because um, my hair, I've got lots of little curls as opposed to really big mountains of them. Um, it's just the way my hair is. So I tend to sort of grab a few together and just, just give them a little twist round. Comme ça. Oh, if you wonder why I keep saying that, I speak multiple languages and I just have a weird thing about breaking into different languages every now and then. It's just something I've always kind of done. Um, I'd also say like uh, Bamanos quite a lot as well because I speak Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese a little bit. I understand more Portuguese than I can actually speak. Um, if you gave me something to read, I could do it. Um, but my Portuguese sucked. It really did. I was not, I just wasn't quite as good as that. Even though it's quite similar to Spanish, it's kind of different in its own way as well, especially with pronunciation. But I mean, I'm only speaking from the, the Portuguese I was taught at uni as my teacher was from Brazil. So um, I can't honestly say for Portuguese, Portuguese, that makes no sense. Portuguese from Portugal, you know, but because you'll probably know if you know anything about languages that in uh, Latino America you'll say like uh, gracias whereas in Spain a lot of people will say gracias so there's like a, there's distinct differences in like accents but then that's kind of the same with English like the Americans speak different to us um, so yeah and there's little there's always little differences and I don't even know why I'm explaining that in this video but I do I like to wrap it on. All right, so that's that bit done. You have no idea how like much crap is on my hands right now. <laughs> I was gonna use the lube, but I don't think I'm gonna need that today. So what I wanna go with next is some curl activator. Um, I know that sounds really stupid, but this actually helps my hair do its thing as it dries a bit better. That's probably the only way I can really describe it. It essentially activates your curls in layman terms basically um, and this is actually by eco styler i found this unintentionally i was actually looking for eco styler hair gel which i'll bring out in a moment because i bloody love that brand their hair gel is absolutely phenomenal it has brilliant hold it has it's just good it's just good shit. <laughs> this is the olive oil curl activator and I'm at the moment using the olive oil eco styler gel um, as I originally bought that in the super drug uh, I have actually found a seller online that does it a lot cheaper um, but this is the curl activator I love it it literally does what it's supposed to it really helps sort of extra that it sort of puts extra oomph in my curls and lets them do their thing without rock, like being too far way down. 
I mean, at the moment, I'm probably looking a bit like Gollum. Um, well, Gollum with hair. Um, <laughs> it's just, yeah. So, yeah, this is, this tub is almost as, like, it's literally like two thirds of my face. It's huge, and this is not the biggest tub. They do bigger ones than this. It's mental, and it's lasted me for ages. But I do quite get, I do get quite happy with gel because my, I'm, I'm known to miss. So, like I said earlier, I'd rather do a lot than too little. Um, right, so what I'm going to do now, a bit like glazing a cake almost, I'm going to kind of, or icing a cake, I tend to sort of go over the canopy area first, because that's where I'll get that halo of frizz. Oh yeah, the frizz on the outer layer is just... <sighs> Story of my life. But this gel is the best for <laughs> coming back in the fridge. Fridge? Fridge, yes. It helps fight fridges too. Um, and then I kind of want to start doing it through the ends. Now, you're probably thinking, ew, don't that get sticky? Yeah, it gets a bit gloopy, that's for sure. But I want to make sure that I'm giving my hair as much stuff as I can because I want it to look its best at the end of the day. And this has got olive oil in it and it actually does help condition your hair unlike some gels which can actually just make it look like dry cardboard and it doesn't do the flaky crap oh I used to hate that as a teenager so what I'm doing now is squelching squelching scrunching so you just basically want to grab hang on bottom of your towels and scrunch upwards as if you've got a spring in your hand almost and let them go and this helps just activate those curls a little bit more it helps your curls take their shape gives you a bit more volume it just restores that kind of bounce and life to them really and I love the olive oil. My hair is obsessed with olive oil, by the way. It took me a while to figure that out. It really loves olive oil. It really soaks it in um, like a sponge. Uh, almond oil, olive oil. Shea, I have to be a bit careful with. It, my hair does like shea, but too much makes it quite heavy and greasy. So a lot of the lighter oils, my hair is just like, yep, give me all of that. Um, so I really, really do like Eco Styler in there oil range oil ranges oh my goodness <laughs> gel ranges but they do loads actually they do um a cannabis one which has got um bits of cbd in it i'm not even kidding guys so now i've kind of scrunched i'm just going to do a final bit which yeah you're thinking oh my god penny how much bloody gel do you want love a lot <laughs> so i'm going to just do the last little bit so i'm going to tip my head forward I want to just give it a bit of a shake and I'm just going to lightly scrunch them more. Also, this scrunching procedure, method, what it's also doing is all the products that I've been putting on my hair since I've turned the shower off, it's helping to squeeze some of the water out and the product in. So it actually helps encourage your hair to kind of absorb all those goody bits especially the black castor oil because girl wants her hair to grow I mean I know it's really long but when it's dry it's much shorter so my hair does appear much shorter than it actually is okay so this bit is where I'm going to do something called plopping don't worry guys I'm not going to shit on camera <laughs> it's fine so I do try and Try to tip my head as forward as I can, but I do have to be aware that the bath is there and it is a bit damp. So I do this, basically, I've got a long sleeve t-shirt. You can use a microfiber towel, you could use paper towels if you really want, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's a lot of uh, waste of trees, really. So I'm basically wrapping my hair in a cottony t-shirt now we don't use normal towels for curls really because it absorbs more of the good bits that we put on our hair 
because I mean essentially that is what a towel does it absorbs water it gets wet as it dries quite literally um, that's a riddle by the way if anyone asks you that's the answer um, but a normal normal towel basically just so if anyone's used that bounty or plenty uh, the kitchen roll um, it's like a tissue if anyone doesn't understand that it's a very absorbent tissue that people often use in the kitchen that's basically what it is I don't know if it's called something sorry I'm doing a cleavage at you guys sorry <laughs> um, I don't know if it's called other things across the world um, serviette almost it's just like a really absorbent thing of like that so a towel will essentially do the same thing to our hair so all of those products that I've just put in my hair with all those great butters and oils and the olive oil and the gel it will just go and take everything back out of my hair which essentially that is kind of its purpose but because I've got curly hair my hair is naturally very fragile it's very fine and it's very porous as well it's quite delicate my hair and I've got so much of it it, this will, this is bad news and it also not to mention the friction as well that it gets in you don't think about it when you're drying your hair but friction is bad so at the end of the day I want to use something a bit more gentle so essentially it's allowing my hair to kind of dry without taking all that stuff I want in it essentially so this is essentially just um, a process that helps with frizz and it's the next step in my getting ready step, so to speak. So, um, method, thing, wash day, whatever. Um, so, in a little while, I'll get dressed and then I'll basically stick my hair dryer on a diffuser, low setting and everything like that and dry off. But I usually plop between five and ten minutes. Some people plop longer. I personally don't want to sit with wet hair that long and I've noticed if I do it any longer than five to ten minutes my hair gets um, quite fluffy and it basically takes all that gel that I've just put in my hair out of my hair so the reason why I put so much in my hair is because obviously the t-shirt is going to take some of that anyway obviously not as much as a normal towel but still I want my hair to kind of emerge when it dries to be kind of like ready to go ready to take on the world because it's you know i think it is its own entity you know guys <laughs> so that's it from me today that's basically my start to finish process i will upload some photos as well to go at the end of this because to be honest the drying process is long and it's bloody boring i'm not gonna kill you guys with that so i am just gonna show you the last bit which is scrunching out the crunch which basically means when my hair is dry, it's gonna be stiff and crunchy. So to scrunch the crunch is just releasing that gel cast that I've put on my hair and just giving it a bit more of a softer, not so drowned rat look. <laughs> so that, that's basically it. So thank you very much for watching so far. I will be back in the final part, part three. Bye.